Hey all, Tech Terry down here. Today, I want to talk about Notion. So, let's take a look. What is Notion? So, if you look at Notion's website, they describe themselves as one workspace for every team, more than a doc, more than a table, customize Notion to do the work the way that you do. What we look at for Notion is it's a productivity software that helps with project management and note taking. And to be honest, I think it is one of the best products out there just to build custom pages and really customize your productivity the way that you want it to be. Now looking at Notion, they've got a really big focus on teams. They're making a really big push to help startups and help companies do things like project manage, keep meeting notes, develop roadmaps. You're probably similar with some other tools that do things like this. Notion for personal use is what I think where it really shines and it is completely free. And so if you look at the personal page, you can see that they have examples here of how you might use Notion. So you might be doing things like setting your years, your goals for the year. You might use it for taking notes. If you look in the top, I've actually linked to a video where I talk about how I use Notion for note taking. Or maybe even planning your trip, collecting recipes, tracking the tasks that you do. I know a lot of students that use this to keep their notes organized for different classes, maybe starting writing. It really is a very flexible way of combining something that you might be familiar like Google Docs with Google Sheets, tables. It's a really flexible format that allows you to make these pages however it works for you. I also think it just looks good and I think that's important. It's really easy to manipulate. They don't give you too many color options, so everything can be built in a nice and beautiful way without you needing to think about it too much. They do have a template gallery where they give you lots of examples of different things that you can use. So some of these you can pay for, others are free. If you just click into them, you can see a bit of inspiration of how to set these up. You can just recreate your own to make it work exactly the way you want it to for you. You might be asking how I use Notion. I have a page here where I have a list of custom built Notion pages, templates that you could duplicate to use on your own. And I've pulled the ones that I use the most. I have a lot of Notion templates, but these are the ones that I come back to time and time again. We've already covered the notes template in another video. So I'll take you into a couple other ways that I use Notion. A great way to use Notion is to collect articles that you might be reading. And so I do this by collecting everything in a nice gallery. There's also a table view with the date that I added. So I like to come back sometimes and pull up an article maybe that I read. The gallery view gives you the nice pictures of what that actually looks like. And for any one of these articles, you can come in here and leave all types of notes that you might want to leave. So you can have the, you can have the article fully embedded into the Notion page, so you don't even have to go to that article. And whenever notes that you take, you can put at the top here. Another great option is to use Notion to collect pictures. So you might use something like Pinterest currently to do that. I actually like to have everything in one place. So notes, news, articles, books. And so I actually have this art gallery in here where I can save images that I find across the internet that I might like. You can add those in here to keep any of those images and what I call the art gallery. Books is another great place to have in Notion. And so for the books, you can see here, I have a list of some of my favorite books. You can give them different star ratings. You can say if they're in progress, complete, or there's an option for if you want to read a book. So maybe it's something you heard was gonna come out in the future and you wanna mark that. And you can also flip to books that you're currently reading. So you get a view of those that are in progress. This is a great way you can click into the book. You can take all kinds of different notes in here. You could also do a section for quotes. 
and you can use a block that is a quote block so that's nice and formatted in the page itself. Another option is collecting people or pages that talk about people that you like on the internet or follow or want to remember. So here I have different sections of journalists or people in tech that I'm following, different writers or YouTubers that I want to keep organized in one place. And again, all of these function like pages so you can always drop into the page and customize that page however you want, putting in maybe articles that they've written, pictures, different quotes that they have, links to podcasts. So you can really make this as dynamic as you want. I like giving you a little overview of how I use these Notion templates and pages, the different ones that I find the most useful. Let's talk a little bit about how you would actually set this up to be useful for you. So if you click into one of the articles, you can see here that we have these different properties that you can add. And so I have two main properties here. I have a date added, I have a date added, I have a URL, and I could always add another property. Let's say I start, wanted to categorize these articles. So what I can do is I can add a lot of different properties here but I'll want to add maybe a multi-select property. I'll want to add an option here. And let's say that this is about transportation. And so I can add that multi-select for transportation and I'll just call this article category. Now this is really useful because as you get more articles, you can use the filters. So as this list grows out, maybe I only wanted to see articles with the category for transportation. And so I'd be able to quickly see only articles that I've labeled for transportation. So you might be asking now, how can I easily get those articles into the database? And so you need two extensions. One is called Notion Web Clipper, which comes from the Notion team. So if I click that, you can see here, I can edit the page title. So this is what's going to show up in the database and they'll give a selector of where I want to add it to. So this is going to the wrong database. I actually want this to go into the news database and you can tweak this article title to be whatever you want it to be. So you don't have a ton of flexibility in what you can add here, but if I hit save page, that's going to put it into that Notion database that we were looking at. And if you come back into that database, you can see here that it's saved that article that I was just looking at. And it's actually clipped that entire article, so all of the content is in the page itself, which is pretty neat. Then if I wanted to, again, I could change that article category. So if I come in here, if I don't see the option that I want and I want to put this in as media, I can just type in media, and hit create. That looks pretty good, but I really want more flexibility in what I can add here. And so there's actually a better extension if you're on desktop. And if you're on desktop, then you have the option to use another extension called save to notion and this doesn't come from the notion team but comes from a third party that does a really awesome job of being able to save these articles let's use that same example for this article we'll hit the save to notion option and you can see here that it gives you these forms and you can always create new forms but i already have one set up for news and so if I click into news, it gives you a lot more flexibility on what you can tweak. So here I can change the name. So I want to make that name a little bit shorter. What's nice here is it automatically will pull in an icon and it'll choose the content image. Let's say I want to change that content image. And so it gives you a couple options. You can take a custom area screenshot. You can take a full page or you can select the image on the page that you actually want. So let's say that I prefer this image here so I can select the image, hit that option and you can see that it is now select that as my content image and that's what's going to display in the gallery. This is great. So now I can go ahead and add that new page. And once I've added that, you can see here, it's actually formatted a little bit better because I have the icon here instead of the default. I have this picture here, which is great. 
And the other thing to like about this extension is that once you saved it, if there's anything that you wanted to highlight, so let's say, for example, I wanted to highlight maybe a particular quote in this article, you can just copy or highlight. You can just highlight any text, click and choose the option to add highlight and it will add a highlight on that page. Now, this is great because if we go back into the Notion database and click into that article, we'll see here now that it has started to add these quotes at the top of the page. And so if I were to add more quotes, they would appear right underneath this. And that gives you a lot more option to actually take notes on the articles that you're reading. So I really recommend if you're using desktop to use Notion Saver. If you're on mobile, which a lot of us are, when you're saving articles, at this time you have to default to the other extension, so Notion Web Clipper. It's the way that articles are automatically saved in the share settings for iOS, and it'll do a good enough job, but you'll just need to come in and maybe clean it up if you wanted to change things like adding an icon, or if you're taking notes, you'll have to put those in manually. And it's just not as nice as the desktop version. So let's look at actually setting up one of those forms with that extension. So if I want to add a new person to my person database, what I can do is just click on Notion Saver and I actually need to set up a new form. So I can hit add new form and it's going to ask you to select a database. So I want to add that to the people database. I do want the page content to be in there, so I'll hit clip page content. It'll show me these default fields that get selected, so page title, the URL, the website icon, the page image, which is great, but I actually want to be able to add a category as well. And so in my database, I already have built one called occupation, so I'll add an occupation, and so that's going to allow me to set that field when I click the extension. Okay, this looks great, so I'll hit save and go back. So I now have this people form that I can use, so if I click on people, it's going to work like the other news extension, so I can change the name. I can now set that occupation to be what I want it to be, and I can look at the other fields to make sure that it's pulling in the information that I want. Great. So once I hit add new page, it's going to automatically add him into my people database. So you can now see that he's been added. So all of these are going to be free. So I'll include a link in the notes down below. What you'll be able to do is once you click into the notion page, the view that you'll see is something like this and you'll see an option to duplicate up above and that will duplicate the page in your notion account. And that's it. Then you'll be able to tweak this template however you like, start to use it. You can delete out all of this extra content in here that I used for examples. And at the top of each, you'll see some tips that I have for each of the Notion pages on just how to use it. So Notion, one of the best tools that I like to use for my personal organization and just curating things on the internet. It's one of the tools I use every single day, multiple times a day one of my favorites, and so I hope you liked this tutorial, and I hope you enjoyed the templates that I've set you up with here. There's a lot more templates that I'll likely put in here if you all like this. If you wanna see more templates, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you'd like to see. How are you using Notion? As always, if you like these types of videos, please hit subscribe, and thanks for watching.